Hey, all you warriors out there, Jerry Gladstone, author of the upcoming book, The Common Threat of Overcoming Diversity and Living Your Dreams and founder of the Common Threat Success Academy. Today is a big one. I'm actually going to sit down so at the end I can show exactly what I'm talking about. Today is about digging deep into the minds of ultra successful individuals. It's about providing you with a tool so you can compete at the highest level. Whether athletics, business, or any endeavor that needs a superior, strong mindset to out endure and outlast your competition. A friend of mine and mentor, Juan Colo Satana, who is actually the founder of the Institute for Human Performance, first told me a version of this concept. Let me show you what I'm talking about. This would, this would represent an image of your own, your own self-imposed walls of what you believe you are capable of, of what your own perception is as far as your limitations and what you can achieve. Yes, we limit ourselves by seeing our challenges as nearly impossible walls to break through. We wonder how super successful people actually overcome the same challenges and the same obstacles we face. We ask ourselves, why are they so special? Were they born to be winners? Are they just better than me or you? We look for what their competitive edge is, and that's exactly what I'm gonna cover today. The fact is, I have spent countless hours with many highly successful individuals from a wide variety of fields. Academy Award winners, Super Bowl champions, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame legends, best-selling authors, and Olympians. Another fact? Another fact is this. They will be the first to tell you they were not born the most gifted or talented. And they would also tell you they take great pride Great pride that they have stronger mental powers than their competitors. Many of these super achievers feel this is their true competitive edge over others. Isn't that exactly what you want? Before we get to the next part of the concept, let's explain who should use it. High school player who wants to earn a college scholarship. A college player who wants to be a professional athlete and a professional athlete who wants to make it into a Hall of Fame. It is also for a salesperson who wants to be a sales manager and a sales manager who wants to be a CEO and wants a CEO who wants to run a Fortune 500 company. Let me share with you how they and how you should visualize any wall of challenge that comes your way. Here's that self-imposed wall again. The thing that tells you it's hard, it's impossible, it's not meant to be, I'm not good enough. It's the wall that separates you from your aspirations. Now, this is how I would encourage you to look, to look at those challenges and walls standing in the way of your achievement. Remember when you were a little kid and your mom told you not to go into a room that was locked or not to look behind a curtain? You wanted nothing more than to see, to see what was on the other side of the door or curtain. Well, that is exactly what I want you to do. Do not look at your challenges as an impossible task or an impassable wall. Visualize your wall that is stopping you from getting to the next level as a curtain that can be pushed through. That's right. There are no more walls in your way. Don't you want to see what you are really made out of? Don't you want others to see you do the impossible? Don't you want to see how far you can push yourself and what you are really capable of? Why are you letting others achieve what you want? Am I asking you to push through some pain to excel? Yes. Am I asking you to stay at the office longer than most? Yes. Am I asking you to bring the best out of yourself without question? Yes. One of the most memorable times I had in my life was when I was able to sit down and speak, speak with Sylvester Stallone. The one emotional message he wanted to convey to others was this, people just don't know what they are capable of until they push themselves, not just to their limit, but past their limit. His concept is the same. There are no walls or challenges that can't be overcome, just curtains that can be pushed through. There is never a reason or an excuse for letting your competition outwork you and in turn having a competitive edge over you of a stronger mindset. Starting today, anything that comes in your way of achieving what you desire, 
Keep in mind, it's not a wall. It's something that can be knocked down. It's a curtain. And with the right mindset can be pushed away and blown away by you. And what is on the other side of the curtain? When you get rid of those self-imposed walls and your own perception that you are limited, I'm going to show you. The accolades, the trophies, the bonuses, the big lead contracts, the self-worth of accomplishing what you really want. That's why you need to push yourself, to push yourself in the development of this mindset. Remember this, in business or sport, there is plenty of competition out there. Let them have the walls in front of them, not you. For you, there is no such thing as an impossible task and no such thing as a wall that can't be pushed through. We understand each other? We do? I hope so. By the way, if you think you can benefit by working with me on this technique and other high-level mindset exercises so you can actually get to the next level and be real competitive, please shoot me an email or call me. Let's see if it's a good fit. I have many years of helping athletes and entrepreneurs work to extremely high levels of success. I'm certified by the International Coach Federation, and I really look forward to speaking to you. And as always, you know how I'm going to leave you. Stay strong. Be a warrior and keep moving forward.